kakuja kuni visit akaniambia acha nikwambie uko na power uko na favor ya kufanya kazi na every kazi yenye unafanya ina za pro- progress the moment umeingia kwa church you become ni kama unaona venye mheshimiwa akiingia kwa church ni kwamba unapata nga mtu mchana ama mtu yeyote amechora kitu amechora tatu wewe unasema eh hey, acha mimi pia nichore you don't know the reason why you mtu ametengeneza hiyo kitu Hi everyone, welcome to our hot seat of my confession. As always, I'm your host, Jael Musumba. And today I'm sharing a story which will be an eye-opener, not only to youths, but also to uh, church leaders who always take or, or receive money without knowing wherever it comes from. And for more information, stay tuned. Hi. Hi. Uh, kindly introduce yourself and tell us who is Steve and what happened to you. I am Vincent Awino Nyango from uh, born in Ugenya. Nimezaliwa kule Ugenya. Lakini twi, after kumaliza shule 2016 nilijiunga na nili nili nilita uncle yangu alinichukua, mtoto wangu yangu akanichukua akanileta Nairobi ku hustle kule baba dogo ambapo nilianza ku hustle na ile hustle yenye ilikuwa ni ya butchery. Hapo ndio nilianzia life yangu ya ku hustle. Na hapo kwa hiyo harakati nilikuwa ndio nilikuwa nimepatana na msichana kama kawaida vijana wakiwa kwa hustle pia wanapatana ku interact na msichana alikuwa mkastama wangu kwa butchery so wakati alikuja mara ya kwanza akanunua kilo moja akaenda na mara ya pili alikuja na mia tano, juu kilo moja by that time ilikuwa inatoka 400 so nikamrudi akaniambia juvua ilikuwa inanyesha na siko na change akaniachia pe kaniacha pesa na akaenda so the next day akakuja mchana so venye alikuja mchana akaniambia tuka have t- time na yeye kidogo kuongea na tuka exchange namba ya simu because she was very beautiful girl by the way na nika accept ile ile venye ile ile conversation yetu ili flow so aliniuliza nilikuwa na naishi na wapi na by then my un- my uncle huyo kijana wa uncle yangu alikuwa ameni ameni rentish alikuwa ameni tulikuwa tuna kwa hiyo butcher ilikuwa kubwa mbele sasa nyuma kulikuwa na space ya kulala na mbele ilikuwa service ya butcher so hapo aliponiuliza wewe unalalanga wapi mimi nilimuelezea tu kweli kwa sababu si kwa nataka kumdanganya na nilikuwa namuona kama ni valuable person to me so nikamkubali kumu kumwa kumuelezea hivyo akaniambia hapa sio is the right place yenye unafaku kukaa kaniambia ni nini shida by the way kusema kweli nilikuwa nalipwa 200 bob so 200 bob cannot af- you cannot afford na nyumba huko the, the cheapest nyumba ilikuwa na ina range 2500 so uwezi manage ku, ku... kunalipwa 200 per day ama per month hiyo yani ni 200 bob ndio nilikuwa nalipwa per day okay. but sasa uwezi assemble hiyo pesa mpaka ilipere rent so udem alini promote na alini support akanipea pesa ya kwenda ku kuanzisha life after yeye kuni support na nikaji transfer ile side uh, anko yangu ilikuwa inaelekea ni mwezi wa nne hapo so tukaenda tu tuki groove, groove up na yeye by that time sasa anko yangu huyu kijana wangu yangu aka, aka slow down capital ya biashara na na mimi naye nikakuwa mi naye nilikuwa na stability kwa sababu at the time nilikuwa naona at least kuna flow naona pesa zinakuja unaona niko na ability ya kuattract customer na customer walikuwa wamekubaliana na mi, na mimi so mimi naye nikaenda ule msichana bado akani boost kidogo na pesa kidogo bado so nikakuja nikaanzisha wakati election sasa 2017 election mi nikaenda nikaendelea na ile project ya ya anko yangu ya asiji ni, ni muite ya kazi so after then nika move kutoka ile kwa yangu yangu jo alikuwa anaendelea sasa alikuwa anataka kuendelea ye after election so na mimi nika move nika jenga yangu sasa nikanunua di freezer nikanunua nini na tuka partner watu, watu wengine hapo wawili tukaanzisha kuendelea kuendelea so tukaendelea ile biashara kusema kweli a new business but ili peak iliendelea vizuri sana sana so huyu msichana pia tulikuwa na good relationship na yeye though hakuwa na ni frequent place but alikuwa tu nilikuwa tuna communicate na yeye kwa simu na na ni direct venye nafaa kufanya na ni pay mawaidha which was 
also ilikuwa inanisaidia so hapo hiyo biashara iko kwenda for long sana though ilikuwa inaendelea vizuri but she opted anataka kunipatia ati akaniambia ame dream ana kwamba nafaa kuwa in a new place ananionekana kwamba tuko na new environment ya kazi so kusema kweli my brother my brother alinipigia simu akaniambia kuna jama mwenye anataka mtu wa kufanya ka kufanya kazi so u jamaa tukaenda tuka meet na yeye ruai choka so tukaongea na yeye na jamaa kani juu alikuwa manager wa kampuni ile ilikuwa pia na deal na gas mm-hmm. so wakati nilienda pale tukaongea na yeye immediately nikapata opportunity ya hiyo kazi na nika transfer kutoka kutoka baba dogo nikaenda mpaka uh, muranga inaitwa mali inaitwa kabati mm-hmm. so hapo sasa ndio nikaanza nilikuwa na, na generalized management ya ya duka za huyo kwa sababu by that time hiyo biashara ya huyo ndio anitafute yake ilikuwa imeenda chini biashara ni vipi ulikuwa like ukienda kwa biashara ya mtu inapika ukienda kwa biashara ya mtu unapika so by that time sikuwa nime ni sikuwa nime nijua kwa sababu the reality is nilikuwa napata tu kama niko na hiyo mm-hmm. favor Okay. Mimi nilikuwa naona ni favor tu Mungu ame amekufavor naye. Mm-hmm. But the reality ni kwamba huyu msichana ndiye alikuwa ni advice the way you have to pave. Unaona? So huyu venye alikuwa ame instill kwanza venye alikuwa ame instill hiyo 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 yani alikuwa ameniekea morali ya kufanya kazi, anani motivate, ananiambia hivi. So one day wakati nilikuwa nimesha transfer huko Muranga nikaona alikuja kunitembelea the first time na hiyo time wakati hata huo huo mwenye alikuwa ameniajiri hapo hako ameni hako yani na issue na mimi na in fact by the time alikuwa ameniajiri hakuna hata siku moja aliwahi kutembelea hiyo place ya job alikuwa amekuamini kabisa alikuwa ameniamini kabisa mm-hmm. na hata mimi nilikuwa nafanya edit ya kila kitu sales na nini na nini na yeye mwenyewe particularly yeye mwenye kazi hako ikanyaga hapo wenye alikuwa anatuma tuni wenye wanakuja ku pick cylinders na kwenda ku refill na kuleta. Unaona? Hao ndio walikuwa nakuja hapo. Lakini yeye mwenyewe physically kama mwenye job hako anaku hako anakuja. So tukaendele huyu msichana venye alikuja sasa akani visit huko. Vile alini visit so akani aka open up akanielezea juu by that time venye niliingia huko hapo kwa hiyo job nilikuwa na, na stay tu hapo kwa cylinders mali penye cylinders iko kwa job then nika akanipe advice kwamba kwa simu before akuje alinipe advice kwamba si utafute nyu, nyumba mahali kwingi kwingine so wakati nilitafuta nyumba hapo next ilikuwa inaitwa Kobe ndio nikatafuta nyumba so wakati nilitafuta nyumba akakuja kuni visit akaniambia acha nikwambie uko na power uko na favor ya kufanya kazi na every kazi yenye unafanya inaweza progress alini aliniambia kesho tutakuja na mbeshte wangu wawi tupati hapa usiku So na mimi siku kataa nikawakakuja tu na hawa wasichana wawili. Hawa wasichana venye wali, walikuja kwangu hapo kwenye tulikuwa wakalala na tulilala sisi wote na tukalala sisi wote kwa nyo, kwa bed mo, kwa bed moja. Then after two days ya wale kwenda alikuja yeye mwenyewe kuniambia ati wale wasichana waligongwa na gari. Raunda. Wakiwa wamebebwa na pikipiki walikuwa naenda huko pande ya nini? South Sea wakagongwa naga na gari walikuwa naenda party mahali nikamwambia si tungeenda kwa tent yani barioli yao ama nini tuende aliniambia walikufa mm-hmm. waligongwa na nini na hapo raunda na wakakufa so nikamwambia si tungeenda kwa kuona hata tupatu attend nini session zao akaniambia achana na achana nao juu si wajui vile na nilisikia tu kwa kwamba ati waligo waligongwa So hivyo ndio hiyo story kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe si kwa najua sasa ingefuatilia story yenye mimi mwenyewe si sijui hivyo ndio hiyo story ilikatika So nikiwa huko bado sasa nikiwa huko Muranga vile alikuja akani open up akanielezea akanikumbusha ile story ya wale wasia wale wasichana akaniambia by that time there is three things there is two things mimi mi baba yangu ana deal na kampuni fulani na hiyo kampuni is a very big company in our country here na mama yake ni ni wa coast. So baba yake ni mkamba na mama yake ni wa huko coast. Alikuwa anaitwa Alma. If I may mention. So Udem venye alikuja sasa akanitembelea huko Muranga baada ya kutafuta nyumba, akakuja aka open up akaniambia, "Acha nikwambie, wewe uko na kipawa 
there is two things to look at to me to na jadi me ni kwa 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 watu wa wa free ya society ya kuangalia watu wenye wana riches mtu mwenye ana wenye ana una bill ana potential flani potential flani so ali akanielezea one nime nilikuwa by the time nilikuwa nakutafuta pale kwa butchery when the first time nilikuwa na kwa butchery the first thing niliona you have the quality of leadership you can command some people na wakufuate the second thing we unaweza uko na uwezo wa kuzaa watoto na watoto wengi sana in case ungekomeza unakuwa unazalisha ungezalisha watu we watu wengi na those are some of the qualities zenye zinafanya mtu apate mali na nikamuliza nilimuliza ati na sasa mimi juice yuko because siku ready akaniambia all the processes yenye umepitia na hizo pesa hizo pesa flow yenye unaona kwa ma, venye unaona una customer wanakubaliana na wewe hakuna mwenye anaenda kununua kitu mahali by, by the way hata huko ukiulizia watu wa gas hakuna watu wengi walikuwa najua mimi ndio yani ni kama wewe ndio unauzanga gas hapo unaona the only person mwenye anauza gas ndio kuna gases mingi lakini wewe ndio the almost the entire community wanajua wakitaka yeah, gas wanatafuta vini wanatafuta vini waga mm-hmm. vini wa gas so after kunielezea mimi singerudi singerudi nyoma kwa sababu vile alinielezea aliniambia na it is a secret thing because we are mimi ni secret society na the secret ni hizo quality zenye uko nazo ndio zitakufanya ukue mbele na kwa sababu mimi pia nilikuwa desperate ya pesa at the same time nilikuwa desperate ya many things na kama youth pia unajua ni temptation pia na nilikuwa nimeshaangalia nyuma nikaona sitaweza ku kurudi mali nimetoka na by the way, kushika pesa hivi ati unauza unauza gas customer unapata pesa mingi hivi unashika pesa mingi hivi ni fun by the way ni fun kupata pesa because that is what everybody is looking for so after mimi uh, kunini um sana alinitembelea akaniambia wewe fanya hivi alinipea three signs za ku perform so hizi signs ulikuwa na perform ukiingia kwa nyumba na ukitoka kwa nyumba so those are the signs zenye zilikuwa zinaku strengthen upate customer wengi eh, at least yani the power zako yenye mtu hata nikikutana na wewe nikikuongelesha mm-hmm. tuna nakubali tu unakubali unakubaliana na mimi nikikwambia anything i will tell you utakubaliana nayo ndiko signs gani so siju kama nikiperform niki unajua nikiperform ni kama bado niko kwa, niko kwa hiyo nini nikikonya sasa hii eh, 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 so <laughs> siezi siezi taka kuonyesha mm-hmm. nini but after that alniambi another thing for you to boost your your strength yani you have to sacrifice yourself the sacrifices and you know fuck make ni kwamba after that that one she opened up and she, she really knew that actually hapo ame nimeshikwa kwa kona hivi yenye siezi siezi rudi nyuma ama nini because for the period tumekuwa naye she was really observant of how I'm reacting na mimi mwenyewe sikwa na realize kuna kitu mbaya because i was not seeing anything but so the first thing ni kwamba unafaa ku sacrifice una blood za, za watu wazin sasa you have to cause accident kitu kama accident ama unafaa kufanya kitu unafaa ku kumes mtu kumes una shed blood za binadamu eh, una mess mtu kwanza ndio at least afanye nini ndio at least you boost your strength ya ku gain ile then he, by, by the time una gain una made, una make nini una gain strength una una unakuwa na the flow inakuja juu so hapo ndio una build your way your wealthiness so mimi after that go kuangalia hiyo nini options zenye alikuwa amenipatia si ati mimi ndio nitakuwa na na, na act hiyo kitu it's only the moment in, usiku uki dream the moment ume perform ile sign the destination yenye ule atakuwa amekuweka ati alikuwa ame unajua utakuwa na hata usiku kwamba mmetembea mme place fulani unaona so place yenye mme travel na eh ukienda kuona hapo ndio atakuona unaweka nini na wewe ndio una tema mate unaona ukitema so, ukitema mate ukitema mate kama ni driver ako na gari atashika emergency brake because ataona ni kana kwa ni kuna kamulima ama ka bump unaona the moment umeshika emergency brake which you didn't expect to make obviously utakos 
problem na na hiyo gari either accident ama injury na ile in, in, intention ya ile accident ni kwamba lazima watu wakuwe na cut na damu zimwagike so target sasa wewe target yako kuangalia ni kwa identify by the time you are in spirit yenye umelala una travel na yeye ni kwa identify areas zenye ziko na lami mpya that's why you, you realize magari nyingi zinafanyanga accident kwa gari kwa lami mpya ama gari, lami zikiwa zina maintainiwa kuna accidents zinafanyikanga that is where so this azikwangi za kawaida azikwangi azikwangi za kawaida it's now an individual zenye inakwanga ku spot na so vini umeelezwa hivi na hivi na hivi ndio unafaa kufanya ndio kwe tajiri zaidi hmm. wakati alikueleza hizo kabla tuendelee wewe mwenyewe ulichukulia kivipi okay kwanza before anieleze he has to convince you kwamba ujielewe wewe mwenyewe uelewe what you have been doing and because hata zile kuna accidents zingine zilishafanyikanga hapo nyuma on your behalf unaona because oh, wewe mwenyewe ume, umezifanya na ujielewe kama eh, sasa uliko na hata umefanya kitu kama hiyo so it is like kama ude, uh, by the time alinielezea mimi mwenyewe niliona ili nishtua kwanza but niliona kama already nishaifanya and i had the urge ya kwamba hata mimi yenyewe ananiambia yenyewe kila mtu kwa hii dunia anatafuta kukuwa tajiri hakuna na especially the youth people are desperate of it so kila mtu anatafuta kukuwa tajiri so hata mimi mwenyewe wakati alinielezea mimi niliona yes iliniuma lakini so na utaendelea siku siku na option I, because i wanted watu walikuwa ni charge watu walishanijua kwamba hapo ndiyo category ni niko so i could not i could not like kurudi nyuma and she also encouraged me kwamba it is a secret thing na because kusema kweli it is something that you have because wezi wezi tembea kuonyesha watu kwamba wewe una una unafanyanga watu mambo kama hii hapana you have to stay with that secret in your in your heart so i maintained that secret for for all that time and actually nili, niliona improvement kubwa kwa sababu mimi hata wazee tulikuwa tunakaa nao chini hivi tunapanga mimi mwenyewe nimefanya drug trafficking trafficking ya drug so nikuulize Vincent wakati ulikuwa unapa, unafanya hizi mazingaombo acha ni ni table manake ulikuwa katika dark spirit uh, wakati huo ulikuwa unashiriki kwenye kanisa lolote ulikuwa unaenda kwenye kanisa okay kanisa unaenda kanisa unaenda tu kama kawaida in fact hata kanisa ndio mzuri na st- kwa sababu unajua kwa church watu wengi wenye wako churches ch- ch- nyingi hawana strength ya ku identify the good and the bad na in that case unapata kama we ukienda church uta contribute tu venye watu wana contribute in fact hata mimi mwenyewe watu wengi walikuwa ananiita Harambe za churches na the, the, the funny thing ama the, the unique thing about this is that the moment umeingia kwa church you become ni kama unaona venye mheshimiwa akiingia kwa church kila mtu ana identify anajua mheshimiwa fulani ameingia so i was the, such kind of a person nikiingia church there is recognition the, so the, the congregation lazima wajue kuna mtu ameingi so unamaanisha watu wa Muranga walikuwa wamekuona uzoefu wako alikuwa na wakati unaingia kule kwenye kanisa wanakufahamu na umeweza kupeana pesa zako kwa makanisa eh, ya Muranga mingi eh, kanisa za, za Muranga hata kanisa nilikuwa na shiriki na hata sio hapo hata hii kulikuwa na kanisa ya KJ nikiwa bado baba dogo nilikuwa hiyo time bado nikiwa baba dogo sikuwa na ni sikuwa na jielewa venye nafanya but nao nilikuja kujielewa wapi nikiwa Muranga Unaona? So so ukienda pale pastor pastor unafaa kufanya hivi. Yule pastor si yako na ability ya ku congregation ile kitu yenye atas- what the message is spreading to the people is what the people are following. Ndio maana hiyo congregation iko hapo. So yeye yeah, naye your your role is to build yourself through her, through him or her. Wewe una, una, unafaa kuchukua ile strength yako naye utakuwa wewe nayo build nayo foundation yako azin sasa wewe utakuwa na follow up kubwa it is something you, one unafaa kwa hiyo sadaka unatoa through the, the donation nitatoa si unajua donation zita mix na zile zingine so hakuna pesa mbaya na pesa mzuri so the, the moment donations zime mix na zile zingine 
hawa ye atatumia hiyo pesa akitumia hiyo pesa so that uh, una, unapata kama ile spirit yako spirit yenye uko nayo ya immorality because at the end of the day ni spirit ya immorality that's why unapata at the end of the day huyo hiyo church hata kama walikuwa wana foundation ya kubuild kitu either they disagree kuna conflict zenye zinaingiliana wewe kazi yako ni ku cause conflict wa disagree nae wewe your, your power ina increase kwa sababu sasa you will, you will be able to control the people wenye wako hapo hao wenye wako hapo wakikuona wanakuheshimu hao wanakutrust because utakuja una, una help ku contribute na nini pastor yeye pia hizi jua because they don't have that actually pastor wengi hawana hiyo strength ya ku ku, 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 ku identify kwamba kuna uzuri na mbaya in fact hata mtu ako katika anatumia vitu fulani na huyu ako sawa eh, hawajafika hapo mali hawana hiyo power na wewe sasa wewe umejua because you know that that is what is happening wewe ukienda unakaa hapo mbele ana preach ana preach wewe unaangalia tu Kenya anasema akisema amen unasema tu amen akisema nini anything that people are doing in that church you will also participate mm-hmm. but your aim ni kwamba you grip the mind of that particular priest Nona. So ye yeah, sasa atakuwa the repercussion at the end of the day yenye itam, itam follow ni kwamba church hao watu wenye wako kwa church hawatakuwa hawatakuwa hata kuwa na amini Kenya anafanya. In fact watu wengine wataanza ku withdraw. Na wakati ulikuwa unafanya hizi vitu ulikuwa unapata pesa mingi? Unajua lazima ikue lazima uko unapata pesa. Na no, pesa upati ati kwa sababu ati kuna mali unatolewa pesa. But zile biashara unapata customer wanakuja so kuna pesa so see kwa, kama ni gas ndio nilikuwa nauza na hizi drug bangi na hii inaitwa inaitwa unga heroin na cocaine heroin una zinauzwa kwa sachet na kuna venue na zipak sasa ilifika aje ukageuka oh personally the, the thing ilifanya ni, ni change mind ni kwamba nilijiuliza kuna siku ambayo accident ilifanyika na hii accident yenye ilifanyika ile involve brother yangu. Mm. Wakati ile utahabu kuomba brother kwa msamaha. Hiyo nitaomba msamaha. Ama alikuwa ulimfahamisha kabla uja. But sija sijai okay sijai reveal hii story kwa mtu yote kwa sababu one the society the way if you reveal if you tell the society the way they they look at, at you they is different. You. They misjudge you, they don't understand you and the next thing they will do actually udaweza pata kama wewe sasa una una good relationship na watu. Unaona? So what happened? So by the time one thing ilikuwa mimi personally ni dream. Nikaona ni kama kuna mtu anani advice kitu yenye nafanya sio mzuri. Because acha nikwambie how wealthy in most cases unapata mimi mwenyewe niko na utajiri yes, si ndio? Niko na pesa. Watu watu wa society hata huko Muranga watu wanajuanga. Wakikuona tu hivi wanajua huyu mtu ako na pesa. In fact watu walikuwa nakuja nakuja nakwambia anakupea shida zake anataka umsolve shida yake anakwambia eh sije kama une, unaweza kuwa na ngiri tano nisaidie mimi nifanye nini ni, nijisaidie nayo kuna shida nimenishika kidogo unaona so you are, you become somebody who solves problems za watu through finance mimi hata saa hii tukiongea na wewe saa hii kuna watu ambao wanajua vizuri kama mimi nilikuwa nataka kusimama na mimi wananijua kama mheshimiwa wao mahali back at home i was to, to run for political position because i had that strength and they still believe kwamba niko na hiyo strength ya kufanya nini ya kusimama back at muranga watu wengine walikuwa na neno kama mimi mwe, mwenyewe ni mheshimiwa fulani nataka kusimama and i had that vision but the thing ili nitopisha ni kwamba nilikuwa najiuliza one uko na utajiri yes na huna familia because you are you are not supposed according to venye to the agree na yule msichana na venye alinielezea ni kwamba one ukioa uweke bibi hapo kando um unajua is another in is another person in, in her own world in, hata kama mnajuana muna, but it atakuhinda kwa sababu kuna vitu zenye wezi perform kama mtu mwingine anakuona so she will expose ile secret ya what you are doing unaona so you can't marry so you can't marry but unaweza kuwa na girlfriends wengi sana kwa sababu girlfriend atakuja malizane na yeye aende unaona na girlfriend anakujanga na ile time yenyewe mwenyewe umefanya nini umemwa ume, 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 point 
ukimwambia kuja leo atakuja kama mmeelewana yani but naye wife ni mwenye mko naye hapo asibui mpaka jioni na atakuwa anajua everything you are do you are doing so you have not supposed to to marry our uh, watoto naye uki bear children tusemu kiza watoto watoto wenye unazaa watakuwa na frustration bado entirely she discourage you not to have mtu mwenye ako very close to you even like ku bear children unaona so unaona it means generation yako imekatwa hapo na ile utajiri yenye uko naye then another thing ni hii utajiri yenye uko nayo ni short while by the way if i would have continue saa hii ningekuwa nakuja hapa mnanifungulia gate kama kama mtu fulani because ningekuwa na another level ya ku ya ile ningekuwa in another level ulikuwa umetukacha pale ni nini kilifanyaka kwa ndugu yako ulisema tu na ukakata tena ukitumalizia oh, wakati ndugu yangu alikuwa kwa gari akitoka nyumbani hata mimi nilikuwa nimetoka kujenga kidogo because nilikuwa nataka kule foundation ya kwanza ningejenga ya kwanza ndio sasa nikirudi in the second time nijenge nyumba yenye iko na akili unaona so i had to lay foundation by that time tulikuwa na yeye akaenda mimi mwenyewe nilitravel ya kwanza nikarudi Muranga ye akafuata baadaye wakati alikuwa anafuata alienda na shuttle hiyo shuttle lilipata accident unaona but ye wale wengine waliumia but ye hakuumia na ni wewe ulikuwa umekosea accident ye ili ni kujihadi kwa spirit nikaona na mimi mwenyewe nikatema hiyo mate na ikanini but si kwa najua he was one of the passengers wenye wanakuwa hapo ndani but the good luck ni kwamba he didn't get that hata hakupata hata injury ya kidogo hivi hakukua injured any, any, any place so after hapo ndio nilikuja nikajirealize nikajiuliza what am i really doing because ilinikuja kwa vision nikaona what am i really doing one siezi nilikuwa na familia so e wealth yote na, na, na assemble kutoka kwa ku discourage watu na kufanya nini unaona itafanya uta, ita, 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 itasaidia nani actually kitu ya pili sina bibi unaona the fame utakuwa nayo fame nilikuwa na hata hapo ndio foundation ya fame eh, but unakuwa unapata kama uwezi another thing drug zenye nilikuwa nauza unapata ina affect watu wengi because the moment uko na hiyo power wenye wanakuja kununua hiyo kitu ni wengi sana I live alone drug cause the, 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 you are also uh, hurting other families by killing their their members but unajua uh, what by that time wezi jua, you are in another you are being you controlled are by world. so wezi ona uchungu yote yenye mtu anaona na hata pia the moment umefanya kitu kama hiki kifanyika unajifanyia hivi dole kwa sababu umeji upgrade we mwenye Mwenyewe. Na kwanza nilikuwa nimesahau uh, wakati uko unafanya hizi vitu unajua umesema una, unapofanya hizo science zenu unafaa kwa huko peke yako. Hmm. Unataka kunembea huko wewe tembelea familia yako kalala huko kama like your your mimi, siblings mimi, ama your mom hiyo. Hawakuwa hii notice mimi hata, mimi hata mandugu zangu wanajua. By that time kwangu ilikuwa nilikuwa very busy person. Nilikuwa very busy person so kuni kuni visit hata kuni visit ni problem lakini mimi ukinipigia simu niambie yuko na shida fulani i will solve it where you are na nikienda kukutembelea so si kwa nalala huko lazima urudi nyumbani nilikuwa narudi nyumbani mahali naka so siezi rudi ama ni hakuna siku hata moja by the time hata oh, ni, nikiwa muranga nilishaiwai kulala nje ya ati nimeenda kutembelea ndugu yangu mahali nikalala unaona because na hata kama ume hata kama ilikuwa late kiasi gani i have to turn back so tukimaliza ndio tumalizie sababu ya muda hapo ume, umefikiria na ukaona kuna sababu ya kugeuka kugeuka kwako kulikuwa kivipi how easy was it kulikuwa na masumbuano ki, 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 ya kifulani ama ulitoka tu you just pulled out hivyo na ukatoka ulisumbuka kuna njia yote kwa njia yote after kujirealize kwamba what i'm doing is not right one thing i had to do was lazima nili, nili, i just decided not to do zile science niache niache ku, ku perform zile vitu zenye then the next the next move nilifanya i had a relationship na mwanamke mwingine 
So woman, I'm okay. In fact, that she was complaining. To make her now almost one year to kidnap. Like in your shy, Ujai Nizalisha. Now, in a real sense, see why Mzalisha was about na na eh, I got a problem because about already I got na watoto angapi. So it means yeah, her na shida. Evidence ni kwamba amesha zaya ya kona watoto wili. So ni mimi mwenye ndio si jaza ndio ni kona shi, shida. So by the time hali niambia hiyo kitu ili ni uma. Na because deep in me nilikuwa nimejua nini nafanyika. So I decided to withdraw by not doing the, those signs na not following what is supposed to be done. So the next movie ilifanyika tulipata our first child na ee. So, so that nisi continue na, because na huu msiana venye tuliza na ee, ye ndiyo nilikuwa. By the way, in fact, nilimuhintia, nikamambia, hacha nikuambie, kuna mambo ambayo ina nisumbuanga kili, kuna mambo niliingiza, ya niliingizi wa naurafiki yangu, na imekuwe kinisumbua sana. So I hinted to her, but si kumambia the whole story, because si kuwa nataka kuwe scared. Unona? So I kept the rest of the secret to myself. Na nisha kukata kidogo, unajua wakati huu menimbeo nikuwa kwa relationship, huu mwanamuke mwenye likuiza katika hii culture, likuwa ye ameenda wako? Yes, sasa, by the time, sasa, tulikuja communication yetu ilikuwa mekata, kwa sababu by the time hali ni visit to the, ya kwanza. Ha kufungulia ukweli. Ha kufungulia ukweli, hmm. halienda kupotea, kwa sababu, so, only meeting tulikuwa tunapata na eni kwa dream. Ama maybe ukitembea, unapata mind ime stop, unaona, muna conversate na ye, but physically, atu kuwa hii kutana na yeye tena. Unaona? So umefungulia huu bibi yako, ulimfungulia kidogo na kushikanisha nini kuna mweleza? Siku mwe, siku hakushikanisha, but ali shikanisha tu kwa sababu alikuwa anajua hizo ni vitu zenye ufanyika ya kawaida tu. Unaona? But yeye hakuwa bibi yangu, alikuwa anga girlfriend yangu. Oh, ni kama mouse. Atakuwa tumekalishana girlfriend yangu. So wakati nilimwambia yeye aliita mtu wa kuomba. Mtu wa kuomba akakuja tukaomba na yeye akaenda so huu mtu aliomba but hakuwa na ile strength ya ku ya ku ni discourage so na mimi pia sikuendele siku sikuacha siku vile ati sasa umepull but now the reality inakuja kwa mind yako naona hii kitu hata nikifanya nafanya the wrong way but ule msiana tu kuachana na yeye ati hata after kuzaa na yeye tu kuachana na yeye hivi kitu ni discourage sing and present kwetu kwa sababu she was a little bit older than me unaona na so kuna mpenda Nikuwa na mpenda, yes, but she was a little bit older than me. Then, nikiangalia back in our society, ukipereka mwana muke mwenye ureni, una mwenye is older than you kidogo, ita ita endelea na ile, yani kuna norms zingine zenye, hauta kwa umepitia, unona? So, still, at the end of the day, amuta succeed in your marriage. Iyo ndiyo mentality nilikuwa na yote. Tuli jondoa, tuka misaki vipi ya pondani? So, nilienda, the next move, nilienda nikachukua, by the time, iyo sasa ni wakati ya COVID nilienda nikachukua msichana ambao huu msichana nilitaka sasa tukae naye kwangu kwa, nyu, kwa nyumba so that nisikue ni easy vision nikue nime discourage ile kitu isikue ni inanikujia so wakati huu msichana in fact hata tu atuku date na for long huu msichana tulijuana na ye around january ikiisha feb then march feb ndio tuka date by march tulikuwa tumeoana na tumekalishana so na in deep in me nilikuwa naona na tukakaa kidogo na tukazaa mwezi kama mwezi wa nane hivi from march na mwezi wa nane akapata mimba unaona the reason why niliona future yangu hainge kwa the way i expected it na wakati huu ulikuwa bado na zile vitu zenye ulikuwa umejipata kupitia kwa hiyo cult au zile vitu nilikuwa nazo some of them ni vitu zangu za nyumba hata there is some properties yenye nilikuwa nime acquire from this strength runner but nilikuwa na by that time hata nilikuwa in fact hata nilikuwa nimeanza nilimtengeneza nili hadi nilitengeneza kaduka mahali it was a very nice place kaduka so easy property nilikuwa nime acquire bado nilikuwa nazo tu because si ku withdraw nilikuwa tu nazo na dizitumia tu bado kwa kili yako unaona tu iko kwa hivyo ulitoka na ukabaki na zile vitu zile vitu nilikuwa nazo mpaka sasa hivi so some of them nime, nimezipoteza most of them nimezipoteza because by the time una, una umeachana na kufanya zile vitu inafaa kufanywa one unafaa kwa una una experience ile ile pressure 
lakini umetoka kabisa sasa hivi umetoka kabisa nilitoka nilitoka nimeacha hiyo kitu uko msafi kabisa uko msafi kabisa haujaisumbuliwa asijesumbuliwa isipokuwa kwa sababu bado nilikuwa natumia zile vitu zenye zile na kuwa pale in fact hata mimi mwenyewe wakati ni kuna jamaa best yangu tulikuwa tuna deal naye na gas huo jamaa nilienda nikaongea naye hivi nilikuwa naenda kwa duka yake nachukua vitu up to hii gas naenda nachukua nauza pesa natumia kwingine pesa zinaenda tu zinaenda tu zinaenda tu oh, ukishoka sasa ulipata kuna masaibu ulipatana nayo uh, so hii na unajua hakuwa na realize up to 300000 ebu imagine kama mtu normally mtu anakuja kwa duka yako anachukua product za duka yako what 300000 na uwe realize over 300000 at the end of the day unakuja una realize baadaye kama already imefika limit yenye hata ukiangalia na hakuna mahali mmeandikishana hakuna rigid ya kuonyesha kwamba huyu jamaa alikuwa anakuja na leo amebeba hii na sasa ulitoka kivipi ndio nataka kuelewa sababu ya muda ulitoka kabisa kivipi hapo ndani one thing si kwa na perform zile vitu the second thing mimi mwenyewe niliamua ni niombe Mungu na nilikuwa naongea na Mungu wangu mwenyewe kwa sababu after that time that after that thing nimekuwa frustrated sana hakuna hakuna hakunaanga kitu yenye nishai initiate a project ikakuwa successful because the spirit bado zinakufuata zina but sasa zinataka kuku discourage from moving forward unaona so that we mwenyewe una mi mwenyewe nilikuwa kama huyo jamaa mwenye after nilianzisha hii duka yangu nilikuwa na project yenye nilikuwa nayo in mind kwamba because hizi vitu zimefanyika nikaanza project inaitwa voice of vijana i wanted a place yenye naweza vijana wanaweza kuja pamoja they air out their problems na wana share out unaona so i started that project did not did not even go anywhere haikuwa ienda mahali the second thing yenye nilifanyika ni kwamba any time nilikuwa nimeenda juu sasa si kwa na ile support nilikuwa nataka nianze foundation yangu wa fresh nikaenda kukopa pesa kwa sako wakati nilienda kukopa pesa kwa sako there were people who are willing to support you kukusainia na nikapewa ile pesa but acha nikwambie haikumaliza hata mwezi mbili na si kuelewa venye hiyo pesa ilisha tena the, th- the third thing nikaenda nikachukua pesa kwa bank kukopa So the spirit yenye sasa inakuja kwako ya, ya kukui ya kukuua ni spirit ya ile debt. Unakuwa mtu wenye uko sasa we uko na deni na pia uko mtu wa kisirani. Kila mtu anakuangalia hivi the way you unafaa ku move. Unajaribu ku, kujirudisha in line lakini visirani zina zina zinakuandaa zina matu bado. Unaona? But it did not discourage me ni rudi mali ni imetoka. The decision I made I know that ni me make the right decision for myself because i wanted to have family yenye nita family yenye wataran and i also wanted i know i wanted also to make sure kwamba niko found what i can also have something to to share with with the people because kama nimeishi ile maisha yenye nilikuwa naishi ningekuwa fame na ningekuwa wealthy lakini inge saidia inge inge saidia at the end of the day singekuwa na foundation ile yenye So that is why I decided to to quit. So nataka tumalize kabisa kwa ufupi kabisa maana yake muda umesha umesha yoyoma. Nataka kwa ufupi kabisa uh, upeane usia kwa kwa vijana kijumla haswa wale wanapenda pesa za haraka. Naweza waambia tu vipi? My message maybe to to the youth ni kwamba run your race. Enda na ile mbio yenye una faa kwenda nayo. In fact kila mtu akona kipawa chake na ability yake na capability so if you want kwenda kwenda mbio utajipata umenini umejiingiza kwa hizo kwa hizo vitu bila kujua another thing ni kwamba unapatanga mtu mchana ama mtu yeyote amechora kitu amechora tatu wewe unasema eh hey, acha mimi pia nichore you don't know the reason why huyu mtu ametengeneza hiyo kitu the other thing unapata kama mtu ameweka hata tuseme kama especially ama akona design nyingine ya life yake iko wewe pia unataka ku compete kupata kufikia hapo so you should stop uh, copy pasting hey, life hey, other people's life yes. let every youth live his or her own life untuombe tuombe Mungu tu pia another thing ni kwa sababu Mungu kwa Biblia unaambiwa tukiasha tukiomba tusije tukaingia kwa majaribio the more you, you also be prayerful 
so that you don't get tempted. Unaona? Kwa sababu majaribio nayo ni mingi. Okay, thanks so much Vincent. Na mm. nime appreciate sana cuz um I trust those one who will be watching or listening to you they'll at least try to get something that will be of help to your their growth. Thanks so much. Uh, I believe this is a warm, it is a, an eye opener, especially to churches and youths. Always keep straight, because quick money doesn't take time. And uh, for you to keep uh, more informed, always stay tuned on KT News and on Standard Digital. For KT News, it's at 10 p.m. 10 on Sunday. Till next time, stay tuned.